amazing news today. I uh, reported on it before I teach class today, and that's that potentially extraterrestrial objects were detected. In 1952, five years before Sputnik, astronomers at Palomar Observatory here in San Diego detected strange flashes of light. And a new paper claims these might be artificial reflections from objects in orbit before the space program in Russia began. Beatrice Villa Royal and her team re-examined plates from the Palomar Sky Survey pause. They looked for simultaneously flashing lights in a 50-minute exposure out of nearly 300,000 short-duration transits. They found a handful of linear alignments with some about four sigma in significance. But one eerie event occurred in summer of 1952, the same night as a Washington UFO apparently made its appearance. Now, the authors claim that these could be specular glints, flashes of sunlight from highly possibly artificial objects in space in geosynchronous orbit. This could be from hardware, and that would be astonishing because that was years before Sputnik itself was launched, October 1957. So these lights could be explained by alternative explanations that the authors talk about. So-called plate defects, dust emulsion bubbles, scanner noise, they can all imitate these optical ghosting effects. So can cameras themselves. Statistical clustering of thousands of objects will sometimes occur by chance. And even they concede that without examining plates under a microscope, it's a little premature to claim that ET has been tested. But if genuine, it would imply that reflective objects were orbiting the Earth in the 1950s, years before humans were able to do that themselves. These are so-called new objects, non-terrestrial artifacts. They've been talked about for years, since Bracewell in the 1960s. So we have to see if it can be replicated, obviously. So a 22 sigma result sounds impressive, but when the sample includes tens of thousands of potential artifacts, that it's possible that systematic errors can predominate. UFO waves have to be demonstrated conclusively, and there are other interpretations that could be interpreted. Sputnik, of course, was the first artificial satellite launched in 1957. I spoke about that recently with Chris Hadfield, who is skeptical that any of the UAPs that have been claimed are actually alien in origin. Skepticism is warranted, but so is curiosity. This is incredibly exciting. So if we can get higher resolution scans or looking through the archives or work from past and current ongoing missions like the Galileo Project, this could potentially confirm or refute these ghosts that appear from the 1950s in Palomar's Sky Survey data. I've invited Beatrice on to discuss these fascinating results, and I'll let you know if she does come up.